today in our My America and My World, we are going to Norway, and that's how you say hello. So say it with me, hallo. So we're on page 84. From the Netherlands, we could take a boat, a boat ride to Norway. All along Norway's coast are fjords. Those are narrow places where the sea comes into the land between steep, rocky cliffs. The northern part of Norway is close to the North Pole. The North Pole is at the very top of the world. I'll show you in the globe in a minute. The area around the North Pole is called the Land of the Midnight Sun. In this area, the sun shines all day and all night for part of every summer. But that doesn't mean it's warm. That's why Mrs. Olsen has this nice warm sweater from Norway to keep me warm when I'm going to a cold place like this. So on your passport today, you need to find the flag of Norway and today is May 4th, and that is our flag and our passport page for the day. And to say goodbye, you say, Adet Gott. All right, in first grade, we're going to show you where uh, Norway is up north here, like they were saying, close to the North Pole here. Let's see what they have to say about Norway. Norway is in a part of Europe called Scandinavia. The other countries in Scandinavia are Sweden and Denmark. Long ago, Norway was the home of Vikings, who were known for sailing to other countries and attacking them. Oslo is the capital of Norway. At the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo, you can see three real-life Viking ships. One of them was found in 1879, when two bored kids were digging around on their family's farm. Norway was the home of the Vikings. In their great ships, the Vikings explored, attacked, and settled many faraway lands, including Ireland and Russia. They even went as far as North America, almost 500 years before Christopher Columbus did. Is Norway's second largest city. It is a gateway to the amazing Norwegian fjords. A fjord is a steep valley on the coast that was carved by ice. When the ice melts, the sea floods the valley. Fjords are famous for their natural beauty. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to Germany we go. All right, you're on page 85 in your books and there is so much to see and do in Germany. We could take a boat ride on the Rhine River. As we travel on the Rhine River, we will see many castles on the shore. A castle is a very large old house with thick walls. Some castles have more than 100 rooms. Can you imagine being the cleaning lady for that? When castles were first built, the walls helped to keep the people safe from invaders. Many of them are now hotels. And you can take tours of some. I have a model of one here. It is called Neuschwanstein, right? Isn't that beautiful? We'll take a little, a little tour of this. Wouldn't that be fun to go see? You can still take a tour of Neuschwanstein and in your passport here you will mark Germany on May 4th. Also I just want to show you quickly Mrs. Olsen as I told you before used to be Miss Freilich. You have to kind of hockaloo you when you say that. That means happy. Like when you say Merry Christmas you say Freilich Noel. So can you imagine that kind of fitting that my last name would be mean happy? All right, and this is what my brothers would wear for Christmas. These are called lederhosen. And then Mrs. Olsen would always wear her dirndl. For Christmas is what this is called. The pretty dresses they wear in Germany. So, hope you had fun in Germany. Auf Wiedersehen. Germany is home to some of the most important and famous people in history. Albert Einstein, the brilliant scientist, was German. So were Ludwig van Beethoven, the great music composer, and Johannes Gutenberg, who invented the printing press. The Brandenburg Gate is one of Berlin's most famous sites. Built in 1791, the gate was once the entrance to Berlin. Today, Brandenburg Gate is a symbol of the city and also a symbol of peace. Hamburg is home to the largest model railway in the world. It includes